So this question says circle A has a radius of 3n. So I'm going to write down A 3n. Let's do it like this. And circle B has a radius of 129n. Okay, so B 129n. This is radius. Where n is a positive constant. The area of circle B, well, what is the area of circle B? Well, the area of circle B would be area equals pi r squared. We know that r is 129, so this turns into pi 129n squared. When I put this in my calculator, 129 squared is 16,641. So this becomes 16,641n squared. So there's my area for circle B. So the area of circle B is how many times the area of circle A? Well, what is the area of circle A? Well, again, for circle A, the area is also pi r squared. We know that r is 3n, so this becomes area equals pi 3n squared. 3n squared is 9n squared, so my area would equal pi 9n in square. So the question is basically asking, what do I have to multiply that by in order to get this? That's the question, right? What do I have to multiply? Right? If I have pi 9 in squared, what do I multiply that by? And I'm, I'm going to call it x to equal pi 16, 641 in squared. So this is my equation that is a translation of the question, right? So in essence, I've treated this like a translate word problem question. I get this equation by understanding what I just read. And now, since I know what I'm looking for, I'm looking for this x value, I'm gonna just use regular algebra and divide both sides by pi nine n squared. In doing so, my pi's cancel out. My 9 n squares on that side, but my n squared is only on this side. And basically what I'm left with is that x is equal to 16, 6, 4, 1 divided by 9. So I'm going to go to my calculator and put that in, 16, 6, 41 divided by 9. And I am getting 1,849. And therefore the correct answer here is choice D.